Hello! Today I'm going to go into depth on how I create the stencils and the designs for the things that I engrave. It's so hot in this garage. <sighs> to create the designs, I take the actual thing that I'm going to be engraving, lay it out flat like this, and I take a picture with my iPad. Try to go as parallel as possible. Take the picture. Then I go to the app Procreate. Procreate is such an amazing app. It lets you plug in pictures directly into it. So you can go up here, press photo, and then choose the photo that you want to draw onto. In order to make sure that I can really see the design that I'm drawing, I like to take the original picture that I've plugged in and make the opacity on it very, very light. That way I can still see the area that I'm working with. Now, one thing that's really important, you want to draw your design on its own separate layer. This makes it to where if you draw something on this layer, and then you go and you take away the first layer, the only thing that remains will be what you want to use for your stencil. If you don't do it that way and you draw directly onto the same layer as the picture, whenever you go to try to remove the background, it will go away with it. This person wants to use my logo on the passenger side, so I'm going to go into add, insert a photo, get my saved logo, and plug it onto the design. I'm gonna start off with the stars that I wanna add on the passenger side. The way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go into the settings, Go to Canvas, tap on the drawing guide, press Edit Drawing Guide, down here press Symmetry, and align this line to where it will create a vertical symmetry effect whenever I draw. Gonna make some stars on this side just to give it a little something. So this customer actually requested a design that I already have. I'm going to go into my save drawings. I'm going to copy and bring it back, paste. Now I'm gonna fit this on the mirror and see if I can't get it to look suited for it. I have my eraser on and I'm going to be erasing excess stuff that hangs off of the mirror and some of the design elements that I think are a little bit too overkill. I really like the way that this looks so I'm just gonna bring up the color on the mirrors just a little bit more so I can see kind of what it would look like. And I really like that. I think in order to get these to stand out more, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. That way it's kind of coherent with the other side as well. Turn off the drawing guide to remove the line and take screenshots. Gonna crop it down. FOMEMO software is very straightforward, so this is what it looks like on the home screen. I go to Tattoo Editing, choose the designs that I want to plug in. The only weird thing about FOMEMO and the software is that things print in reverse. So I go in and press this button right here to flip it. So this is about 6.5 inches. If I want the blink razor to sit in the middle at the top, probably going to make the blink razor part about three inches. This is the printer that I use. Now I'm gonna take the tattoo transfer paper and load up the printer like so. There is a small icon on the top right that looks like a little printer. 
I'm going to press that and press print. This is the stencil. Okay, so there's one stencil for the driver's side and the stencil for the passenger side as well. I really like the way that that looks. I think that that's gonna be a solid fit right there. Yeah, that also looks good. There we go. Now these are ready to be used. Okay, so this is the end result. Got two stencils that I'm ready to use on these mirrors. Next video, I'm going to show you the process of actually applying it to the surface and little tips and tricks on how to do that correctly. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's so hot in this garage.